it going everyone? It's Nathan, Nathan's DIY Garage, and today I'm going to show you how to protect your car's engine belts so you never have to replace them ever again. Okay, so the trick is we're going to try to prevent these belts from doing this. Flip it around here as you can see. You can see that belt, how many cracks are in that, in the ribs. There you go. It's pretty deteriorated, right? So you don't want that. If the belt gets too cracked, what it's going to do is break through the back and it's going to snap. Now this trick will also help you with a squeaky belt. A lot of belts you buy these these days squeak no matter what. We have that problem a lot on the BMWs, on the Toyotas, on the Hondas, on everything. That's real common. And that's due to them using a cheaper material than what they used to. So what we're going to do here, we're going to coil this guy up. And in this case, we're going to use a coffee can with the lid. Now you could use any kind of container. You could probably even use a Ziploc bag. We're going to flatten it out just like that. And we're gonna drop it in this can so it covers the bottom. Okay. Then we're gonna use our 303 protectant. Now this 303 protectant, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I know this stuff works. I've used this product in past years and had real good luck with it. A lot of guys say now that you could actually use Meguiar's Natural Shine from Walmart. Um, I have not tried that, so I don't know. But you probably can. So what you're going to do, you're going to take the top off, either bottle, and it's going to be hard to get out the first time. You keep working at it, you could actually screw the top of these bottles. Just like that. And then once you unscrew that, you're just going to dump it in your can. And what you're going to do here is just put enough in so you just cover the belt completely. At that point in time, we're not going to do it because it's an old belt. No use of wasting that. Um, you're going to put your lid back on. You're going to let it set 10 to 15 minutes. After your 10 to 15 minutes is done, you're going to pull it back out like so you're going to put your lid back on so your protectant stays in there you're going to take I like to use a microfiber just like this and you're going to wipe all that excess off both sides of the belt and you don't want anything wet on the belt you let it dry out for a few minutes you don't want to put it on your car when it's soaking wet and then that's it super easy guys that is going to save you a huge headache our average belt I would say lasts about two years and it's getting rotted like this one is. And we have a problem here lately. Most everything we put on squeaks even the first day it's on there chirps. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it helps you out and have a good day.